How's it going guys? So it's been a while since my last video, but here I am with a new one finally and uh, today's video will be taking a look at what seems to be a program, but it's actually not. It's a website uh, and so the website is called Photopea or Photop, not too sure how it's pronounced, but uh, here it is and I'm going to actually uh, link the website uh, in the description, <clears throat> but essentially what this is is basically like a free online Photoshop um, and so I was thinking you know a lot of people um, say that Photoshop is uh, something that's important to them uh, and it's a, an important piece of software that they use and it kind of prevents them from trying out Linux um, and while there may be alternatives such as GIMP uh, or Krita or even something else um, a lot of people are just used to that kind of Photoshop feel, look, uh, and the, just the type of tools it has to offer. Uh, and so I was kind of doing some research, and even though technically you could try to run uh, Photoshop through Wine and still basically get that working uh, under Wine uh, and Linux, it just it won't be native, and it might you might stumble across. Uh, errors and you know crashes and whatnot instability so uh, basically uh, what this is is an online tool uh, and <clears throat> like I said it's like the free online version of Photoshop and it works on every OS as long as you have basically a web browser so here is the start page it's the tool itself and then you can start off by choosing a new project opening a file from the computer uh, and other options here which I personally haven't taken a look at it also has support for various other languages but for now it just offers English but I'll kinda get into that in a little bit uh, and so it does in fact support Photoshop uh, type files and also files that have been worked on using GIMP so let's open up a new project and once you click that you can name it whatever you want you can select a resolution so and you have other options here so as you can see simply from opening and starting up a new project you have a ton of options uh, and you see that this does come with certainly a lot of features you know it's not just some basic online paint you know that just tries to mimic the look of Photoshop but it also gives uh, the tools and also if you see up here it says layer is locked uh, so you can't really do much by just simply clicking on it of course you're gonna have to uh, select your tool and so you know uh, just drawing something right now some simple but essentially here you have your tools here on the on the left and you know you have your eyedropper uh, the brush tool um, and I, I'm not really too familiar with the shortcuts um, in Photoshop itself but essentially um, you, you can definitely um, change up each tools properties but I, I did forget how to do that I think I did that once um, I think I pressed the shortcut I'm not too sure if the Photoshop keyboard shortcuts um, apply here as well if they're the same ones um, but you do definitely have that and so you, you can just I'm not going to give it a specific tutorial how to use this because if you've used Photoshop chances are you probably already know how to use it but um, just showing you a quick overview you know how you have your uh, tab here at the left with the tools and you have your layer options here uh, and so you can duplicate a, uh, a layer change the layer style you know so again you have that and then here at the top you see your options here so you have a lot of adjustments and um, effects and whatnot. So again, um, 
not too sure just how in depth this program goes into mimicking Photoshop and if you can see here what I am uh, showing you here at the top um, if you can compare that to the actual Photoshop you can you can see just how similar or even how different it is um, and as I mentioned uh, before you can go to more here at the top and go to language and it offers a ton of languages here which is awesome as well and you can actually even contribute to the translation um, and you also have several themes so we got the silver the black theme iron blue the snow white and the Danish purple so that's actually pretty nice how you can even customize that and speaking of keyboard shortcuts um, here are all of the shortcuts that it uh, has to offer pertaining to tools, navigation, uh, editing, and all that type of stuff. So <clears throat> if you're familiar with the Photoshop tools, you can see how just how similar these are to the actual Photoshop uh, shortcuts. So, oh, there we go. So basically this allows you to kind of change up the the tool whichever tool you're using so I did take a look at a bunch of um, videos uh, about this and you know they did have some some in interesting insight on it I, I did see people uh, who have been using Photoshop who have done edits using this uh, and you know it looked pretty nice you know um, and certainly for something that's like based on a on a website uh, I think that this is actually a very powerful tool um, and so yeah like I said I, I won't really give a tutorial on how to use it as if you've used Photoshop before you'd probably have a good idea on how to use it uh, but just basically showcasing the website again or itself and again um, the website is called Photopea or Photop, uh, and I'll link that in the description. The one thing about it is that it does come with ads, so you know that might bug you. <clears throat> but again, the thing is, is that it's free. Uh, and another downside, I guess, I would see to it is that the uh, because it's a website it's browser based so if you don't have access to the internet you can't really uh, do any work on it uh, which kind of sucks but um, you know and also another thing is say you're working on something and if you suddenly lose connection to the internet uh, that you're also going to lose any progress you've made so I think that uh, simply the fact that it's based online on a website I think that that's its biggest downside but also its biggest uh, or greatest strength because you can use it on Windows you can use it on Linux you can use it on Mac um, you know you can use it basically on anything you know so I think that that's its strongest point but again it is also its weakest point because um, you can't really use it if you don't have an internet connection all that type of stuff but uh, that's something that as Linux users we should realize and know that an alternative might be good for certain software but it doesn't necessarily replace the software um, you know and so this isn't necessarily a replacement for Photoshop but uh, it is a good alternative and it's definitely another option that we have um, apart from just GIMP and Krita and all the others so uh, but yeah just thought I'd show you guys this nice online tool and uh, hopefully uh, you guys find it useful so thank you for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video